Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'm doing something that's actually pretty cool, and that is we're going to be creating a machine learning model. Now, a machine learning model is going to be very easy, where you can introduce photos of cats or dogs, and the machine learning model will be able to tell you whether that photo contains a cat or a dog. Now, you can actually play around with this and add different things such as cats, oranges, dogs, bananas, whatever, even human beings such as male and female, and compare and detect what's in the image. So let's just show you another example where we add another dog. As you can see, it will tell you whether the image contains a dog or a cat and how confident it is. So an example where it wouldn't be too confident is if we add a photo with a chick into it, such as this, where it's a lady acting like a cat. And if we add it, it will tell you that it's 74% confident that it's a cat and 25% dog. Now this is very simple, I only trained it for dogs and cats, but you can actually improve this and add, like I mentioned, any other thing for your model to identify. And with that, further ado, let's get started. Welcome back guys, now as you can see I'm on my desktop here and I have Xcode already launched, but we're actually not going to be clicking on anything here, instead we want to launch Create ML. So to do that we want to head to Xcode and we're going to right click and then we're going to go to Open Developer Tool. And here we have different kind of tools that we can use, but we are interested in the Create ML one. So I'm going to click on it again. And as soon as it loads, it will ask us, and it opened in my second screen, I can drag over here. It will ask us where we want to save um, our project. And I just want to save it in the desktop. So I'm going to click on New Document. And here we have different templates for machine learning that has already or have already been prepared and trained for us. As you can see, we can pick between action classification, so we can record, and if someone's running, the app will be able to say, oh, this person is running. We can do a style transfer, object detection, image classification, and there's honestly so many other things. You can even filter through it as well. But for now, the one that we're interested in is going to be image classification. I'll be making another video where we focus on style transfer, because it's pretty cool, but we're just going to start with image classification. So I'm going to select image classification and I'm going to click on next and let's just save it cat dog author that's just me you can add a description and a license if you'd like I'm just gonna go ahead and click on next and we want to save it again I'll just save it on my desktop now in case you still haven't understood what exactly we'll be doing basically we want to create uh, a machine learning uh, set that allows us to identify or allow us to provide a photo of a dog or a photo of a cat and the app will be able to detect whether that's a cat or a dog. That's basically what we want to do. Now, you can actually use this with anything else other than a cat and a dog. For example, you can use it with male or female. You can teach the app how to detect if someone has male features or female features and it will be able to say whether they're male or females when you provide them a photo that they were never introduced to. And you can do this with anything, fruits, animals, anything. You can even do this with more than one thing, so it doesn't have to be two things like a cat and a dog. It can be a cat, dog, mouse, elephant, whatever. But for now, just to make things simple, we're only going to be using a cat and a dog. Now, as you can see right now, it's saying training data. And what that means is it wants the data that we want to train it on. So let's go ahead and create a new folder. And we're going to call this one cat. All right letting me rename it we can call it cat dog inside of here we're going to be creating two different folders so the first one is going to be dog and the second one is going to be called cat there we go and basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be filling each of these with the photos required so for dog we're going to be adding a whole different bunch of dog photos for the cat, we're going to be adding a whole different bunch of cat photos. And let's rename this to cat. There we go. So what we are going to be doing now is we're actually going to go on Google and we're going to be searching for dog and cat images. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go over here and we're going to be typing dogs. Oops. Dogs. Images. And basically what I'll do is I'll collect at least 10 photos of dogs and 10 photos of cats. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this section, but you know what to do. Go on Google, type in dogs, cats, collect 10 photos of each and place them in each of the relevant photos. So place 10 photos of dogs in the dog folder, 10 photos of cats in the cats folder. All right, so I have filled my 10 photos of cats over here. And also if we go to the dog, uh, sorry, the dogs file, 
you'll find that we have 10 photos of dogs as well. So now what we need to do is we need to close this tab and when it goes to the training data, we need to go to cat dog and we need to place it over here. Now I just want to make sure something is key here. Now although I did add 10 photos of each category, um, when it comes to machine learning, the more images you can provide and with more angles, more different lighting, blur, crop, expose, whatever, the more accurate your machine learning model is going to be. So right now, let's say, for example, the only cats that I included were uh, gray cats, only gray cats. If machine, if the model uh, is confronted with a white cat or a black cat or an orange cat, it will not know that that's a cat. So basically what you need to do is you need to provide your model with the most different variation of whatever it is that you're actually trying to test. Uh, anyway, now that we do have training data, uh, we can add validating, validation data and testing data, but I will actually just train it. And once it finishes training, we'll actually be having a preview where we're able to provide the model with a cat and provide the model with a dog and then see if it actually identifies them properly or not. So I'll pause this video and I'll start it again after we've completed the training for our model. All right, so our model finally finished training and it did take a little bit of time, but as you can see, I already tried it with adding a photo of a dog because I wasn't too confident. And as you can see, it tells us once we drag in a photo over here, it will tell us what it thinks it is, so if it's a dog or a cat, and it will tell us what's the percentage of the confidence is. So right now it is 100% confident that this is a photo of a dog. But here's the thing, right now I did provide it two images that we trained it with. So obviously it will know because they are already categorized. But the cool thing will be to grab a photo that we did not include in, in our testing data, uh, in our training data, and see if it will be able to identify it properly or not. So let's do exactly that. I'm gonna go back to Safari and I'm going to type in dogs. Let's just put this over here. And let's go ahead and pick a photo that we did not actually include. So let's minimize this and open that one like that. And the idea here is we wanna select a photo of a dog that we did not include. And I don't think we included that so let's actually save image to downloads downloads there we go okay so now what i will do is i will be adding a photo of the dog and as you can see it straight away identified that it is a dog let's just give it one more time so i'm going to be adding this dog i'm pretty sure we did not add that one because he looks ugly <laughs> and let's open again our model and I'm going to select the photo of the dog and I'll pass here. Again, it knows straight away that it is a dog and with 100% confidence. Let's go ahead and try this with cats. So I'm going to type in cats. And we can select a photo of a cat that we did not include. I don't think we included that one. So let's go ahead and try it. And it is somewhere. Oh, there we go. So let's go ahead and add it over here. And as you can see, again, straight away, it managed to know if it's a cat or not. Just one more time for the test. Let's go ahead. Let's actually go ahead and try uh, this. Let's try and mess around a little bit with our program. So I'm going to be dragging this lady. And <laughs> All right. So it saw a 74% confident that it's a cat and 25% confident that it's a dog. Fair enough. I mean, they are trying to look like cats here. One more time. Um, and maybe this time we can introduce two cats or three cats and see if it will be able to tell if it is a cat or not. So let's go ahead and find it. There we go. And straight away, it can see that it's 100% a cat. So there you go. You managed to create a model that identifies whether something, whether an image contains a dog or whether the image contains a cat. I think it's pretty cool. And you can take this so much further with gender, um, uh, colors, uh, books, whatever it is, you can definitely create a model that identifies what that thing is in the image. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you leave a like and a subscribe. And if you did not like this video, make sure you let me know why in the comments. See ya.